What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, D-Hyde. Just wanna welcome you guys back to the channel, man. And um, as you guys can see, I have a special guest with me today, man. I told you, um, if you guys haven't seen my last video, click on the card that pops up. But, um, you know, it was a video where I talked about, you know, different stages of growth, you know, when it comes to growing your beard, especially for those of you that's young. And I got my 22 year old right here, man, to demonstrate the different stages of growth when it comes to growing a beard. And for those of you that's been rocking out with me for a while, man, as you guys can see, my son has definitely gained some growth over the last couple years, man. It's definitely coming in nice. He's getting a little more growth down here. Um, it's getting close to connecting with his stash. Um, it's still, you know, as you can see right here, man, it still needs some work down in this area, but definitely a huge difference compared to how it was a couple years ago. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys really quick how his beard looked. I think it was like late 2019, early 2020, somewhere around that time. forward just a year later a little over a year later about late 2020 um, you can see that the difference in his beard and just at over a year and I did a video with, with him and myself just showing um, how to eliminate the itch the uncomfortable feeling um, using conditioner oil and uh, small tooth comb uh, you guys can click on the card to check that video out since that time man he's been shaving it off but he decided to give it another run and we can see a huge difference in the amount of growth he actually has now again He's 22, fellas, just like a lot of you guys that's that's young, starting a beard. And like I've said in all my videos, it takes time, it takes patience, especially when you're young. You know, you have to you have to uh, let the beard mature with you as you age. And we're definitely starting to see that with his growth. You know, he has a lot of coverage up under this area right here. The beard is getting a little long, um, but you know, over time we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this area, and then, of course, the mustache and stuff like that start to thicken up. But again, fellas, I just wanted to jump in here, show you guys my son's beard. Man, I promised that I was going to shoot this video. Now I'm delivering. And in this video, what I wanted to do also is just show you how I line his beard up. Because in my last video, I did mention, you know, the way his beard grows. And as you can see, he has a lot of growth up here in the high part of his cheek. And he has a lot of growth down here on the lower part of his neck. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and line him up really fast create this nice little line just to give his beard shape and then also create a nice line down here on the jawline, okay? Just to make his beard come together and of course look nice. And again, fellas, it's like I mentioned in my last video, man, it's all about, um, you know, kind of working with what you have and making the best out of your situation. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today in this video, um, just to make his beard look a lot more decent and sharp to go with his nice little fade that he got today. And then after the cut, I'm gonna give him the classic treatment when it comes to the beard products you know wash his beard condition it um oil it butter it up man and uh show you guys exactly how the uh, the end results look you know after the cut and after using the products speaking of products man make sure you guys go check us out at classic grooming um the link is in the description box i'll even tag it down in the comment section um again we truly truly appreciate the continued love and support from all you guys now with that being said fellas let's go ahead and uh, line this beard up and try to get this thing looking tight and right all right now, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a nice little line. Um, you know, just, just add some shape to his beard. Again, if he allows all this to grow, it'll look kind of crazy, right? So I'm just gonna add a little shape to it, you know, on the cheek line and then the back of the jaw line and just make it look really nice and sharp, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do, man, is just go ahead and brush this down a little bit. Again, fellas, you know, I'm just kind of basically going off of uh, what I did last week. As you guys can see, he still has a little hard line right there. He has some new growth going in there. But I'm just gonna come in and basically just follow that old line that he has. All right, so as you guys can see, man, um, how a nice sharp line makes a big difference when it comes to just bringing out the shape in the beard. Even if you don't have a lot of coverage, you know, adding that line and really shape the, shaping the beard um, makes the beard look really nice, you know, compared to having all that wild hair just growing all over the place. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and work with the neckline. I'm gonna use my GTXs. Those bevels are sharp as hell, as you guys can see. Left his cheek a little red. His face is a little more sensitive because he's not really used to having a lot of clippers on his face, you know, sharp clippers on his face like I am. Um, I got, you know, a little bit of that uh, old man leather <laughs> leather face 
But uh, again, you know, this little this little baby face of his, man, is not used to it. So I'm gonna go with the GTXs. These are not as sharp and them, them, uh, them uh, bevels will definitely slice his neck up, man, because it's even more sensitive down here. When I initially cut his hair, and I'm gonna show you guys a picture right now. Um, when I initially did his lineup about two weeks ago, um, he didn't have this much coverage or this much growth growing in. So I kind of brought the, uh, the line up a little higher, but as the beard started to grow out, um, last week, I actually brought the line back a little further back. You know what I'm saying? I dropped the line down a little lower just because as the beard starts to thicken up and get a little longer, um, you know, you want to give it more of that, that wider look, you know, if it's kind of thin, um, or it's kind of close to the jawline and it starts to get thick, it doesn't look right, right? You need a little bit more of that, uh, that wide look. Just to show you guys as an example, this is his jawline right here from down there. And then this is how far back I brought it. Again, fellas, that makes the beard, especially when it starts to get thick. Um, if you're able to grow, you know, this much here on the bottom of your neck, you bring it back a little bit. It's gonna give the beard more of that fuller look and make it look real nice and, and together. So all I'm gonna do from this point is go ahead and just brush it, try to get the hairs to lay down. That way I get a nice little cut and then come in here and just try to hit it and clean it up as, as best as I can. Uh, my, my GT axis is not as sharp as they used to be, man. But I'm just it's definitely gonna get the job done when it comes to just cutting off all this, this wild hair that he has going on down here. All right, so you see how that's coming out? A little bit below the jawline. You know, just to kind of add some shape to it, add a little bit of style to it. Um, again, I can't wait for this area to grow in, man. I know it's gonna look really nice and together once this grows in, but again, fellas, um, looks good for what he has right now. You know what I'm saying? What he's able to rock. Looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish the other side and then show you guys how I get my boy the classic treatment, man, again with the beer products, okay? So knocked out this side, as you guys can see. Came out nice and clean, man. Again, just followed the old line. Try to make it as sharp as possible without really pushing it down. And then follow his same line down here. And just create that little, that little wideness to it um, and that little angle, man. And it came out looking real nice. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give my boy the classic treatment, man. Starting with the beer wash, okay? Of course, it's important for us to wash our beers, fellas. And um, we're gonna go ahead and wash the beard with the classic beard wash. Got the tea tree peppermint in here. All right. Add a little bit to the hand. You know, this beard is not big, so you don't need a whole lot. And when you wash your beard, man, you wanna make sure you don't just take your hands and just, you know, gently massage your face. You wanna make sure you get in there and you clear out those pores, okay? So get your nails in there, get that beard nice and clean. It's very important. You know what I'm saying? Again, to kind of remove any kind of buildup that you have. And again, our peppermint tea tree wash, man, is gonna do a really good job at getting the beard nice and clean without stripping it too much, okay? And it's gonna have that minty feel along with those uh, antibacterial um, properties from the tea tree. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse this out now. All right, so next on the list, of course, we have to condition the beard, fellas. And this, of course, is gonna help with softening up the beard, man. Um, you know, of course, help with uh, split ends, um, any type of breakage, and um, just overall, just, you know, add that strength to the beard, man, that you need, um, along with that softness, okay? Now, what I like to do is just rub it in, you know, make sure you cover the beard entirely. And then, like I mentioned in my last video, um, you can use a small tooth comb, but basically what I do, um, you know, and I do this, you know, in the shower now that my beard is big, I do it with a, a detangler comb, but because this beard is still short, I can use a small tooth comb like this, and this will really help to just, you know, clear out the beard. You know, he still has a little bit of tangles down there. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, the teeth are small, but he's getting some thickness to the beard. And uh, this will just help, again, to, uh, you know, lift the hairs off the skin. Because at this stage of growth where he's at now, uh, from time to time, he, he does still suffer from a little bit of itch. 
and um, some of that uncomfortable feeling. Let that sit in, let it help soften up the beard, and then from there, we'll go ahead and rinse it out. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm not gonna dry the beard completely, okay? I'm not gonna scrub it bone dry. I wanna leave the beard a little damp um, to touch, you know, uh, and it allows the oil to spread a little more evenly throughout the beard. So from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of our classic grooming beard oil. And for his beard at this stage of growth, he probably just needs about um, a good quarter of a dropper, okay? Um, just to cover it completely. You know, this varies depending on how big your beard is. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this in evenly throughout the beard up underneath the, the jaw and just make sure you cover all areas of the beard with the oil and try to get it deep down into the skin and uh, massage it thoroughly throughout the beard. Now you can always use a comb, a small tooth comb again, or a brush. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a brush for now. And um, this really, again, helps to kind of spread the oil throughout the beard. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and use our classic grooming beard butter. Um, it doesn't take a lot for his beard again. Half a fingernail, man, is, is, is good enough for him at this stage of growth. As you guys can see, it breaks down really nice and smooth in the hand. And then all I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply this, you know, to the top of the beard. And if you want, you can also just massage this into the beard too, because this beard is a lot smaller now. You know, with my beard at my size, I like to just put it on the top. But because his beard is small, he shouldn't have any problems um, with shrinkage or anything like that you know, by adding too much butter, you know, with, with the with the length of his beard. Again, fellas, just make sure you get it all the way in. Just massage the butter in. This is great um, at conditioning the beard. Also, you know, you got those properties of the oil, you got the properties um, of the butter with shea, shea butter and all the goodness that comes with the butter and um, the conditioning properties. And uh, you should be good to go. And then last but not least, again, I'm gonna come back with the brush and just give my boy that final look and just make sure everything is laid down right. And with that, fellas, he's pretty much good to go, man. Um, a nice little lineup, as you guys can see. Add the shape to the beard. Really brought what he's able to rock with right now as far as growth on his face. You know, brought it together. You know, as you guys can see how it comes here, even though it doesn't connect, you know, it kind of drops down. Then he has that, that hair on his chin where it connects under here. And then the same for this side. And this is a huge, huge change from a couple years ago, man, where he had those long, um, uh, if you smell what the rock is cooking, <laughs> sideburns um, from back in the day, like 2019, man. So my boy is coming a long way, man. And again, fellas, um, I might shoot a video like this again in, in a couple years, uh, God willing, and show you guys how his beard is slowly but surely um, maturing with him as he ages, okay? My man is 22, man. So again, I might jump back on here um, when he's 24 and show you guys um, the difference from 22 to 24. And um, hopefully, you know, we can see some some major changes. But for right now, fellas, um, this is the beard. Um, for those of you that's, that's young, that's starting your journey, man, like I said in my last video, fellas, give yourself time, patience, work with what you have, man, make the best out of your situation, shape the beard, style the beard that fits whatever you're able to grow. When you're able to just style the beard, make it fit to whatever it is that you're able to grow, you can make the best out of any situation when it comes to growing the beard, man. And um, just overall making it look real nice, clean, healthy, and um, together, okay? So with that, fellas, you guys take care of yourselves, man. Um, this is your boy, d High. You guys stay safe, stay blessed, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the video was helpful, man. Of course, hit me with that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And uh, yo, this might be the last time we see D, man, for a couple years. Um, when we come back, we definitely want to have um, some more growth for y'all, man. But uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You want to say something to the people, D? No. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace out, man.